So now we have node red running, and here on the left we have all of our nodes, and we're going to create a flow, and a flow is just a group of nodes. So we'll take an inject node um, and a debug node. So the inject node will allow us to just press a button and fire off some functions, and the debug node will show us the response of our HTTP request. And we'll just search up here for the HTTP request node, drop that right in the middle, and wire these guys up. So we'll open up this HTTP request node and we select a method. We'll be making a get request because we want to get information. If you wanted to post information, you would use the post and there's a few other methods here. Um, and then we'll paste in our URL and I've got a URL ready here. So I'll paste that right in a few things to note. So I'll be um, asking this NASA API for a picture of the day. And that's what this endpoint is. So you get a URL and then you'll have an endpoint, which is a slash. And in this case, there's sometimes some sort of authentication, which I can embed right here in the URL and it requires an API key. So this question mark means that a parameter is coming up and that parameter is the API key and then the equal sign and all this gibberish at the end is my API key. Now, other ways of embedding a uh, username and password, for example, in a URL. So right after the two slashes, you would say username colon password and then the at sign. And that's how you would embed a username and password into a URL if, um, if the endpoint accepts that type of authentication. So I'll get rid of that and because this doesn't need that. And then we'll just say done and we'll deploy it and i've got the debug window open here and i'll click that button to uh just to create a change on this and when a change happens on this input then it'll make the request and as you can see the response printed right back here into this uh, debug node and into my debug window and this is just a json response that tells me a little bit about nasa's picture of the day it tells me today's date and it gives me a little explanation of what that picture is. And that's a really quick way to start testing HTTP APIs. So if you wanted to put something in the body of this message, you would go into this debug node here and, uh, and just make it a string. And then the payload would be the body of the message. So this is the body. If, a re if, if the request you're dealing with needs some kind of body information, this is where you would put it in, and that would be message.payload. Another way to do it is with a function node. So we can make a function node here. We'll drop that right in between those two. And then here we would say message.payload equals, and then this is the body. And that would be the body of my message. And then we return this message object. And that's kind of how node red works. It passage, passes a message object between nodes. And in this case, the payload is what will get interpreted as the body for this HTTP request. So when we click this, it'll just generate a change here. And then we'll change that payload to the body of our message. That'll get passed along to this HTTP request. And then it would perform the method, the selected method, to the URL with the body and message payload. And I'm pretty sure you could also say something like, if you had headers here, you could create that header kind of object here, and then you would say message dot headers, and then we um, would use these square brackets to say what the key is. And you'd need to look at the API to find out what that key is, and it might be something like device, token, whatever that API requires. And then you would see, set that equal to your device token, whatever it is. And that would be one way you could include headers in your HTTP request as well. So I hope that's helpful. And no matter what programming language you're working in, Node-RED is just a really great, great way to test around. You can see how quickly I made these changes here. We'll say done, deploy, and all of those are active now. And if I hit that out, who knows what I'll get back. I can see I still get the same thing back. It basically ignored all of the, the headers and stuff I put in here. Great way to have some fun, test some APIs before you uh, start coding.